Hey, what's up, y'all? It's a rainy day down in Georgia. A little cold, too, but I just had uh, something happen that I thought I would tell y'all about because it's something I run into regularly. So um, I just left a seller's house, and while I was sitting there, there was multiple people living in the house. So we had um, a mother, an elderly mother. We had um, a sister-in-law, a sister, and a brother all in the same house. And what I found happens a lot of times whenever you go and meet with a seller and they're all living in the same house, everybody, legitimately, everybody and their mother want to talk to you at the same time. And um, that is very distracting whenever you're trying to gather information, build rapport, and uh, actually try to find out how you can help the seller out. So uh, a tactic that I've used in the past, and this really does, this works well for me because I'm legitimately ADD. Whenever I've got four different people sitting there having four different conversations, all trying to talk to me at the same time, and I'm just trying to find out, hey, you know, what's going on here? Um, I'll be like, yo, uh, y'all, I'm ADD really bad, and so I, I need some help here. Could you please help me? Um, we got four different people trying to tell me stuff at the same time, and I can't concentrate on anything. Could, could we just have one person please start talking to me? If you could, that'd be great. So, uh... I did that it worked like a charm um, everybody calmed down except for the one person that was in charge turns out one of the family members was the uh, executrice of this of the estate and also the one that was the power of attorney that person then stepped up started talking to me directly um, once I found out who was the de decision maker now I can start asking them pointed information we started finding out things about mortgage balances we started finding out things about the actual seller situation not just hey I got a house here and uh, it's beautiful and I've had such a I've had so many great memories these are things I want to hear because uh, to me this isn't just about buying houses this is about solving real estate problems this is about getting together with people and finding out how I can help and so whenever I get to learn hey Thomas hey Lisa I went to school with Lisa. That's cool. You're watching. Um, so whenever I'm sitting there and I'm talking to these sellers, you know, I, I need to find out what kinds of things do they did here? Do we have an emotional problem? Do we have a financial problem? Do we have a physical problem? So like a physical problem would be, hey, I got steps and I need to have a ramp now. You know, all these things you have to find out by asking very pointed questions, asking uh, very detailed questions, being able to listen with your ears and put cotton balls in your mouth if need be. But in order to do that, you can't have four different conversations shooting at you at one time. So try that the next time you're in that situation. If you're sitting there and people are just hitting you from all sides with different conversations trying to pine for your attention look at them and say hey you know what please help me out you know I, i'm having a hard time concentrating if you're like me and say dude i'm add i i legitimately I, I help me please because i can't concentrate on all four conversations what that will do is that will slow them down the person that's really in charge will step forward you can then start building rapport with them find the start asking them the questions that you need to and next thing you know uh you'll have the house under contract so i just got back to the office i got to come in here and work up some paperwork and then get back out there with them so that we can get them signed up because we're probably going to buy this house but anyway i thought i'd let y'all know about it y'all have a great day stay warm if you're in georgia and if you're in florida and it's beautiful don't rub it in see y'all